I share one quick story before we go and make two points in, if I can. Mm -hmm. um, when we think about what difference our voice, our vote makes, I want to recount to you a story, uh, something that happened in experience. In the 90s, when I was working in Philadelphia, I had the opportunity to, as working in Philadelphia, so we had the opportunity to have an event called Sis, uh, the Sisterhood of Cities. And so we traveled, a delegation of us, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to Philadelphia, Mississippi. We did that to commemorate the anniversary of the death of the three summer freedom writers. You'll remember them as um, Cheney, Schwerner, and Goodman. And as we um, landed, got off the plane, and just made our way to the site of where their bodies were found, which, and then we made our way to the home of Mr. Cheney's mom, James Cheney's mom, I had the opportunity to sit and talk with her. And she was transported back 30 years ago. All of the raw emotion, the hurt, the anger, the grief came out in my conversation with her. She knew that her, that, that summer, she knew, and her son knew, he was not going to make it through that summer. Mm. He knew that the work that he was doing, along with the other Freedom Riders of the summer of 64, he knew they understood the depth of the importance of what they were doing. And they knew because it angered so many people, they were not gonna come out of it alive. Yet they were determined, they were still in their resolve to make sure that they did everything they could so that all of us would have the opportunity to vote no matter what we look like, no matter what our education. Um, and so when I hear people say, oh, my vote doesn't count, you know, when people say people die, that can be, you know, a, a, a statement that you can't put a face or a person to. But I was able to put my face and my person to James Cheney and his mom and understand the major sacrifice that not only he made, but that she made in him giving his life. So I would say to every young person, every old person, every person that is bothered by the system as we know it and think their vote doesn't count, yeah, it does, because somebody died for that vote. The other thing is, check out the state that you live in. So I know that there might be people tuning in from different states, but check out the state you live in. If you don't think your vote counts, when it comes to the electoral college, there are 29 states that require their elect, um, their delegate uh, for, the, for the electoral college to vote the way the popular vote went. There are 21 states that don't. Make sure that you know whether or not your state will require that. So does your vote count? It certainly does, and it especially does if your electoral college representative comes from a state where they are forced to vote the popular vote. Mm -hmm.